So I decided to run a little eBay experiment, as far as making sales goes, at least. For the most part, kind of lately how I've been running our eBay store is I'll run a sale and it'll be like a 48 hour sale. And on top of the sale, I'll run promoted listings above trending rate. <clears throat> and kind of the mindset behind that is to get your items to get viewed more, especially when the sale is ending. So like, for example, if you're running a 20% sale on for 48 hours, when it comes near the 48 hours, most likely your items that are on sale, which I usually do store-wide, uh, they'll be boosted a little bit because the sale is ending. So it'll drive people to your items, supposedly, how the algorithm goes. But this week I did something a little different. What I did is I actually decided to not do any of that. I didn't run any sales and I didn't really do any promoted listings above trending rate at least. And it seemed to kind of work out pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or what, but it seemed to work out. I wouldn't say that we made any more sales than normal. It's been kind of like a normal, like as far as quantity goes, but for some reason, I've noticed that a lot of our higher ticket items and items that are more expensive and that are bigger sales have been moving, which is kind of nice. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad it happened that way because I'd rather get full price for those ones especially, you know what I mean? But I don't know, just a little tidbit, something that, that I've been doing on our store just to see how it works. And I don't know, how do you guys run your store? I'm curious, like, do you guys... Do you guys do that same thing? You run sales with promoted listings? Do you not do anything? Do you, what, like, what do you do? I'm curious to hear how you guys, how you guys do it and uh, maybe get some new ideas because I like to switch it up a little bit. Try to keep the, the eBay algorithm kind of on its toes, if you will. But uh, that's what I did this week and it seemed to, it seemed to kind of work out. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the following week, but we'll see. We'll see how, what happens. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. But anyway, let's get into what has been selling the last few days. It is Monday and we are shipping out, whoa, we are shipping out what we sold today. And what, well, actually some of the items that I'm shipping out, we sold um, this weekend. Ah. What are you doing? Giving the people what they want. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna sign this. <laughs> But anyway, um, so we have, I think we have like four, four things going out right now. No, five. We got five. Um, and they're actually pretty, ah! Just in case you wanted another one. <laughs> they're actually pretty decent sales. Um, really, really good sales. We weren't running, <laughs> we weren't running any sales this weekend. Um, I just left the sale off and just had everything at full price. And it actually worked out pretty well for us. I was surprised. So anyway, the first thing that we are shipping out actually is this. She just shot me in the butt again. <laughs> is this um, uh, die cast uh, Navy F-14 jet. It is, uh, I think it's steel. I'm not sure, honestly. It is metal, nonetheless. And these- Are you talking about the plane or your buns? <laughs> the plane and these wings uh they go in and out i'm not gonna do it because i only have one hand but um so this sold this weekend for full asking price i picked this up a couple weeks ago at a garage sale it was in a video paid three dollars for it and i ended up getting fifty dollars plus shipping on that so that was a really really good sale right there that's a really cool plane too i really like that piece so going to a good home I hope at least <laughs> um, next we sold something that's kind of older that we've been we've had sitting on the shelf lately or not lately for a while sir. move some of this stuff sir. yes get, your autograph. get my autograph why oh whoever won this wanted an autograph right no they want me to shoot you 
and then wanted us to sign it, right? There we go. Okay, so let me move all these out of the way here. This thing right here, this bacon wave. Eh. Bacon wave, bacon maker. We've sold one of these before, uh, probably like three, four months ago we sold one. Um, I think it was actually around Christmas time we sold it. I can't remember what we had into this. I think Pam actually found it at a thrift store. It was like a dollar. It was only like a buck, yeah. But we got $12.97, so like 13 bucks plus shipping on that. That was decent. We've been sitting on it a while though, so it wasn't a super fast mover, but that's okay. <sighs> Let's see, what else? Keep judging. I'm not judging. Next, we are shipping out a pair of jeans, actually. Um, this pair of jeans is a thrift store find. Let's see if I can find it down here in our bin o clothes. Uh, they are corduroy Levi's. It's, there's no graceful way to do this, is there? Um, I hope these jeans sell right here. These are these are a good find. These are a retail find. Really high end jeans. I have them listed for like eighty bucks. Um. Oh, this shirt sold too. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. Um, where is this pair of jeans? Should be. There they are, right there. These are them, right? Corduroy Levi's. Yes. Corduroy Levi jeans, right there. Um, these sold. These were a thrift store find. Uh, I can't remember honestly what we had in these. Once again, I think it couldn't have been anywhere over six dollars usually at goodwill i can't remember which thrift store we got them at but usually at goodwill at least in our area uh jeans are usually about six bucks so if we did get them there they would be six dollars or less but i think they were less because i don't think i got these at goodwill uh, but anyway we sold these for 15 15 dollars plus shipping and these will go in a padded flat rate envelope right there and then next I think that's the shirt that sold I think this is the shirt that sold right here pretty sure let me let me check to make sure um right here unbro men's soccer shirt yes we've had this shirt for an extremely long time we bought this when we first started really thrifting Pam's dancing to some music <laughs> Um, we bought this when we first started thrifting. I found this, I think it was at uh, Salvation Army I found this shirt. Um, I believe it's like a soccer shirt. Um, Umbro Men's Soccer Size Medium Polo, New England. Yeah, I took a best offer on it. I had an offer come through for $9 plus shipping. So I took that because it is a... <laughs> oh, Pam's eating. Is that cereal you're eating? Are you eating cereal? Are you recording? Oh yeah. Yeah, you are. You're eating cereal, aren't you? <laughs> it's for the Thursday video. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, nine bucks plus shipping. I don't remember where I, was, where I was going with that, but yeah, there's that. And then, let's see, is that everything so far other than the last one? Yes. I believe so, okay. So, the last item that sold, it actually sold this afternoon um, <laughs> major sale, uh, really awesome sale here. Can you guys guess what it is? Sealed Sony Walkman, right there. Sealed Sony Walkman. Pam picked this up, didn't you? <laughs> you picked this up at a yard sale. Yeah, that's mom. She picked this up at a yard sale for two bucks, okay? Two dollars. And it sold, ooh, uh, it sold this afternoon don't for, break it. I don't break it. It sold this afternoon. I want you. I think I had it listed for like 180, 179, which was super high, but I just wanted to see what I could get for it. And I had best offers turned on. And I had an offer come through. I, I had in my brain the lowest number I wanted to go on it. And I've been holding out for a while, I've been getting a lot of offers around 100 to 125 range. My bottom dollar for this right here was 130 bucks. And I had it in my mind that that was the lowest I was gonna go on this unit right here. And um, 
So I held out and I had an offer come through today for 140 bucks plus shipping. So I accepted on that. And uh, I was pretty excited about that. It was, that's just a really, really awesome flip. And I'm glad I held out for the extra couple weeks just to get the extra dollar because it's a pretty rare find, I think. And, <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, you know, I just didn't want to let it go for too cheap. So I also got a message with it. No invoice, please. This is a gift. Can you please ship as soon as possible? I'm going to ship it right out tomorrow. That's really cool. Somebody got that as a gift for a loved one, maybe, or something. Anybody out there that's a big Sony fan would love to receive that as a gift. So that's really, really awesome. But anyway, um, that is all that is going out today. Um, yeah. Hopefully we get some more sales tomorrow. Fingers crossed. And we'll see you then. Goodbye. So it is another day here in the eBay room and it's time to pull some orders. Uh, decent numbers sales, at least for us. I mean, not super high numbers, but good for part time, I would say. Um, not amazing, but we did make a few sales. First and foremost, we sold this bat right here, this sweet DeMarini CF5. Um, I had this listed high for a while. I had it listed, I think I had it at like 80 or 90 bucks. And it is pretty beat up, so I think that's why it didn't move too fast. Plus, it's a little bit of an older bat. Um, but it is a DeMarini CF5. <laughs> uh, drop 3, I think it's a 32. Yeah, 32, 29 ounces. Uh, BB Core certified. Uh, really nice bat. I remember when this bat came out. This was a, this was like a, this was the best bat, the highest end bat that De Marini made. Uh, this model year, I believe. I believe the CF5 was like the top of the line, four hundred bucks brand new, I believe. Um, but it didn't move, so I just kept lowering the price, and then I got an offer for fifty bucks plus shipping, so I decided to take it because I have five bucks into this bat. So, decent flip there, um, can't complain at all. There's definitely good money in bats, and I'll, I'll take that. I think we've had this about, about a month, I would say, maybe a little longer, and uh, it's getting a little bit late in baseball season, especially for, you know, high school, which is where this bat would be used. Um, so anybody buying baseball bats now, probably buying them for AAU baseball, not everybody plays that, or like uh, a summer league which not everybody plays a summer league. Um, so I figured I'd take the offer and get it out of here, but I'm, I'm happy with that. Five bucks into 50 plus shipping. Totally cool with me, you know? And then next, what did we sell next? Let's see. We sold, oh yeah, that's right. We sold a Wii game or a Wii U game. It's Splatoon. I actually picked this game up at, I believe it was Goodwill. I have so many games here. I don't even remember where it is. I believe it was, it was at Goodwill. Um, it's a Wii U game. And I got it for, I, I think it was five bucks. I picked it up for, there it is right there. Splatoon. It's like, it's in super good condition. It, it doesn't even look like it's hardly been played, uh, honestly. Um, I remember looking at the disc, it's just absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. So I showed that in the listing and everything and I held out, I, I listed it a little bit higher than what they've been comping out at. But that game has, a, if you ever see that game, that Wii U game right there for a decent price, I would pick it up. It has a really good sell through rate on it and uh, it's pretty desirable. So I decided to list it a little high and just wait it out and I ended up getting $15 plus shipping on that. I think it was like 20 bucks shipped or something. So decent game for a Wii U game uh, $5 into 20 or 15 I guess <laughs> not too bad It's actually Wednesday right now, and it's been like Quite honestly guys. It's been super crazy around here lately um, Just everything going on in our lives as far as keeping up with eBay and keeping up with YouTube because I mean we try to upload at least five days a week, whether that be a live show or a or a vlog like this. Um, and it, like, honestly, like YouTube is a ton of work. It takes a lot of time. And doing that on top of, on top of reselling. And then right now, 
it's June and we're really, really like preparing for our wedding at this point. Like not that we haven't in the past, uh, you know, a couple of years that we've been engaged, but, uh, it's like crunch time. You know what I mean? So it's, it's been pretty crazy. Um, so like yesterday I didn't do anything eBay related or YouTube related. Didn't do anything. Um, actually I did edit, I did edit yesterday's vlog on Tuesday, but, um, that's pretty much it as far as like shipping and stuff like we sold a couple things like these two things I think sold on Tuesday I think they sold on Tuesday I didn't ship them out today um, I just took the day off because it's, it's been nuts like right now I'll show you right now Pam's working on some wedding stuff aren't you bae Yay. aren't you <laughs> you want it to be over I know now, like, we're really looking forward to our wedding, but yeah, once it's like all done and, and <laughs> once it's all done and uh, over, well, obviously it'll be an awesome time. We can't wait. But uh, once like it's set to go and it's done, it'll be a huge relief because it's just, it's so much work, guys. Like, it's really stressful and I don't know, there's just a lot to it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We only got what, a few more weeks maybe. A month, four weeks, three, four weeks. I don't know. It's getting close, nonetheless. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so yeah, that's why. I mean, like, as far as eBay's been going lately, it's just been kind of a losing battle. Uh, as far as like, look at our death pile, guys. Like we've been hitting the garage sales pretty hard and not really getting much listings up uh, to be completely transparent not getting much listings up we just really don't have time right now we don't but we'll get there we'll get there once this wedding thing passes we'll be able to really buckle down and start to really get things going a lot more than you know they are now but anyway that being said one more thing to pull let's see one more thing oh yeah we sold three fuji blank vhs tapes uh, i had these listed i think i had them listed for like we have a list for like 20 bucks plus shipping. And we picked these up at a, let me be careful here, I don't want this back to roll off. Uh, we picked these up at a, I think it was an estate sale. Um, a few, maybe like a month and a half ago, I think. Um, and it was in a video regardless, but uh, here they are right here. They're brand new sealed. We got them for like next to nothing. We put them in a, we put them in a uh, Ikea bag with a bunch of other stuff. And the guy was like, the guy asked $3 for everything in the Ikea bag. It was a killer deal. So we probably have like five cents in these, these things. It's pretty nuts. Uh, but anyway, I had an offer roll through for, uh, what was it? $14.99, I think they offered me. So I took it, you know, plus shipping, of course. And these, she, these, ooh, geez. These are kind of heavy. Like, let's see how much they weigh. Plug in my, plug in my scale here. Like these are these are heavy. These might be yeah. See these are over a pound. However, they are media. Whoa, they are media. So I can ship these out media mail. It's probably only gonna cost, I don't know, just under four dollars to ship them anyway. Probably like three something. I would assume. Uh, I forget where they're going, but it'll be super cheap to ship them because they're media mail. So, um, that is cool. That is what's going out for the conclusion of this video. Like I said, I kind of was glad I didn't run any sales this week. We've been making just as many sales, I would say. Uh, maybe a little less, but higher dollar sales. You know, higher dollar sales. So in the end, it's like all the same, money-wise. So not a big deal. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens this next week. But uh, yeah, once again, let me know how you guys run your store and how you get sales moving when they're slow and and just just your li little tactics and stuff like that that you guys use to to increase your visibility on on eBay and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just curious. I, I like hearing I enjoy hearing how everyone runs their store and the things they do. It's, it's just cool for me to hear everybody else's kind of deal, you know. But uh Anyway, that is pretty much going to do it for us tonight. I'll walk out here so Pam can say goodbye to you guys.
Um, what's talking to you? Like, tell me what's in my, like, thing, look, everything's highlighted. Three, nine, five, one, eight, two, nine, and messages.com. Oh, that's kind of weird. It just, it's like reading your email for you? Yeah, but it did the whole thing. <laughs> super weird. I don't know why it keeps doing it. That's super weird. <laughs> <laughs> Your computer's possessed. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, hope you have a great rest of your week. And we will see you soon. Right? Yeah. You got food? I got food. I don't even got food. Okay, so we got to keep dreaming? I got to close my eyes and keep dreaming, you crazy dreamers. <laughs>